Good morning. Excuse my finger. I'm just going to try to scoot in here a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Um, we're going to be working on some patriotic painting today. I haven't really decided on what direction I'm going, so we're just going to see where it goes. <laughs> I'm Tanya Cribs from the Passionate Pigment here in Kingsland, Georgia. If you are um, local, I would love to see you stop in. The shop is open this afternoon from 3.30 to 5.30 and tomorrow from um, 11 to 7. So we will see you then if you're local. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using quite a few colors um, and we'll just go over them as we go along. Um, so yeah. To start off with, I'm going to be using um, Sandy Blonde, which is this beautiful taupey type color. I'm just going to add this to one of the sides. Um, Gonna wet my canvas down. Good morning, Bobby. How are you? Much better. All right. And I have an old towel in my lap to uh, clean off my brushes a little bit as we're going along. Good morning, Lori. Dayton, Ohio. Woohoo! I used to live in Ohio for a little bit as a child. Um, lived in Wapakoneta. Small little town. Um, very small. Had to be bused to the next city to um, go to school. It was so small. Right, I'm adding in some boho blue now. I'm just gonna go for like what we do um, 4th of July around here usually is we head to the beach and the city puts on a beautiful fireworks show and we have fireworks over the water so I think that's what I'm gonna capture today um, kind of sitting maybe on a little riverbank Or at the beach. So I got a little boho blue and a little sandy blonde. Hi Anna from Sweetwater, Texas, or Tennessee. Sorry, I thought this said Texas for a minute. Sweetwater, Tennessee. I have been to Tennessee several times. Um, I love going to Cades Cove in that area. Been to Dollywood a few times. Pretty good stuff there. So I really love how that blended in. Made it a little bit lighter. Um, for the sky, gonna go in with a little bit of water lily and O57 and some vintage linen. And then we may add a little bit of hay sailor too because we want it to be kind of dark. Of course, fireworks are going off in the night sky. So we'll add that in as well. I'm using the same brush. It's the um, Joy Paint Pixie. Hi, Cheryl. Good morning. Michigan's in the house. All right, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of water lily. I'm gonna actually spray my canvas, get a little damp. This 
is all wet, we're gonna come right in with some Hey Sailor. Kind of deepen this up. We're just kind of slapping paint on this morning. Good morning, Jenna. Georgia, what part of Georgia? I'm from Kingsland, Georgia. So if you're just hopping on, we're doing a patriotic painting little scene. Um, the way we do Fourth of July fireworks around here is we usually go to the river or to the beach and we sit and watch the fireworks. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I literally was scrolling through Pinterest and like, what can I do this morning? I knew I wanted to do a patriotic painting, I just didn't know what, and I couldn't find anything that I liked or wanted to paint and I was getting kind of frustrated and I'm like, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna see where it goes. Hi, Sandy from Portage, Indiana. How are you doing this morning? We're just painting a little DIY paint. So this, I don't think I'm gonna add any old 57. I think, I, I think this is good for the sky because I want it kind of dark um, night sky so I used water lily and hay sailor and yeah I'm loving it it's looking really good I'm gonna use a different brush to get closer to the water's edge so I'm going to use my turquoise iris and these are well loved and well used you can tell by the paint all over them this is the assistant so I'm just gonna come in here. And bring it back and forth. I'm gonna go and spray a little water in my lid because that's where I'm tapping all my paint from. Um, when I don't, when I'm not gonna be using a lot of paint, I just take it straight from the lid. A little bit lighter on this side. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the blue. They are going good for me. Um, had a per pretty couple of rough days this week, but for the most part, you know, we're healthy, we're alive. <laughs> Can't complain about that. That's for sure. I'm really liking this. So I'm gonna come back in with some Sandy Blonde and um, Sandy Blonde. To get my words out this morning. And kind of define this ledge a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and close up this old 57. I may use it in just a few minutes in the fireworks, but for right now, we're not gonna use it in the sky. Thinking, I just want kind of a ledge here. I think I'm gonna add some darker um, I'm looking for my layered chocolate. There it is. I just want to add a little bit, yeah, while that's wet and just blend it together. I think I'm just going to like pounce it in because I want it to look more like a rock cliff than an actual 
like beach scene. Yeah, can you guys see that? So I'm just pouncing in some texture and some color on that. Using Sandy Blonde and Layered Chocolate. If you wanna try to recreate this at home. I've been doing a lot of um, patriotic signs lately. Some more of the old Americana style. Um, some just, you know, flags stuff. All right, um, I definitely want to add some flowers and some greenery. I'm gonna bring out the Monet's Garden and Salty Kiss. I'm gonna close up these other ones real quick. Guys, have any questions? I'm in the middle, actually, of uh, 30 paintings in 30 days. Um, I lost count. I think I'm on like 25 or 26. It's been a really, really good go for me. <laughs> um, I really needed to keep my mind busy during this time of uncertainty in the world and all the crazy things that are happening. So I'm going in with some Monet's Garden and I'm just going to add a few sprigs of some like grassy area. We'll have some flowers coming out of those. So this is kind of more what the river looks like around here. Hi, Helga. The frame behind me. Um, you're talking about this? Yes, that's my bed frame. <laughs> um, I'm actually waiting for my brother to come and take down my old bed um, because it's too heavy and I can't do it by myself. Um, it's one of those really big, thick, chunky log style cabin beds, and I just can't do it by myself. <laughs> I'm going to add in some of the um, Salty Kiss, too, just to kind of add a variation of color in these leaves here. But when you're down by the river, um, it's not so much, it's like sandy, dirty, and, um, there are a little bit of rocks, but then you have these, like, palmetto bushes and flowers that spring up everywhere, so that's what these are reminding me of. Little 
Very cool. From Brazil. Well, good morning <laughs> or good evening. I'm not sure. Brazil is in South America, correct? I think that's correct. <laughs> I hope it's correct. Okay, so we're done with this. I'm going to add a few little um, flowers on that. And then we're going to get to work on some booms in the sky. So I'm thinking I want maybe some yellow and maybe a little bit of orange. Oh, that's awesome. Grandkids are the best. I have two little granddaughters. Um, our children are aged so far apart that I actually have smaller children and grandchildren at the same time. <laughs> so when my 22 year old, um, I had a 22 day old and a 22 year old at the same time. It was crazy, but it's my life. So my granddaughters are so sweet. My, um, oldest granddaughter has been, um, learning how to knit and she, I told her I needed a, um, a coaster for my office because my cups are um, leaving some staining stuff on my desk and I needed a coaster. So she knit me one and brought it to me yesterday. So sweet, so beautiful. And she's doing a really good job. She's, she's a little amazing artist too. My office is very coastal. Um, it's white and aquas and grays. And she made my coaster. Um, it's really beautiful white and I love it. It matches so perfect. can see that. Yeah, I had to scoop my uh, my comments over so I could make sure you guys could see that. Okay, so we have our little um, rocky cliff area. We have our water and our sky. I know the sky looks really dark, but it's supposed to be at nighttime, so it's supposed to be dark. So now we're going to add in some pops of color, patriotic color, with our blue iris. It's our cobalt blue. Very, very pretty. Um, I'm going to use the carnival red for this one. So it's our um, bright yet red. has a little bit more um, yellow undertones. Then Marquee, Marquee has more of the blue undertones. So I went with Carnival Red to kind of contrast with the blue iris. And then Vintage Linen is the white that we're gonna use. And um, I'm gonna do uh, like a couple different styles of um, fireworks. And I also have just some watered down vintage linen. It's like um, 10 to one, <laughs> 10, 10 parts water, one part paint um, that we all use for some dripping effects. So that's gonna be cool too. Um, so I'm taking just my, what is this? The Tipsy from the Turquoise Iris. If you don't have this collection of brushes, Oh my gosh, you need to get them. They're so good. You can get them um, on 
the Paint Pixie website or the turquoiseiris.com. They are amazing. If you like doing fine artistry, um, so I have the five piece set. And as you can tell, they are well loved and well used. <laughs> My husband gets on to me because I don't take um, a whole lot of care with them, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so we're gonna say we have a few shooting up on the ground. Then when they get to the top, they're going to explode. But if they're on the water, there's usually like a reflection. So we're going to do it like that. And then um, we're going to have some that are just like already up here. And that's gonna be my marker point. I'm gonna use the drippy stuff coming down. And um, we might just have some that are just exploding. So we're gonna just put a little dot there for the center of our explosion. And then we're gonna come in White. We're gonna bring in some of that carnival red. These are going to have maybe a little explosion. And we can't forget our reflection down here in the water. Rinse in my brush, and then I'm going to bring in some of that blue iris. It's beautiful, bright cobalt blue. Sorry, I get quiet when I paint. <laughs> it's just what I do. I'm so sorry. Um, I think I'm going to do this one. It's going to be like a big explosion of red. And then you know how when they explode in colors and then each little stream explodes in colors? I think that's what we're going to do for this one. So I'm just going to make the inside a big huge explosion
I'll make this middle one blue. Just a little bit more. And then grab some of this white. I'm just gonna that exploding and I'll get some of the drips. In just a minute. It's going to look so cute. Hi, Pat. Good morning from Texas. What are your plans for all these paintings? Selling or keeping? Um, some of them I'm keeping. Um, the rest I'm selling. They'll be uploaded on my website, passionatepigment.com, and you can look at them there. Thanks for asking, Cheryl. Appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of the blue on this one here. Just kind of fade it out. We want it lots of gold color. And I love how the blue iris is standing out different from the um, the background color. And we used we used water lily and hay sailor for the background for the sky. gonna bring in some of this water down it's gonna be really drippy thanks Cheryl it's gonna be really drippy but that's what we want uh, I may add a little um, of the blue and the red That one got a little bit more than <laughs> I really wanted. So we'll just wipe that in down. I think I am gonna go ahead and water down some of the red and the blue so we can make that drippy too. I don't have any already made, but we can make some really quick. So I'm just gonna take some of the red And add some water. Make it really watery. Super watery. And then just touch and let it drip down.
and these look kind of messy at the bottom, but when we get through, I'm going to take the, um, the same color, which was the Bohemian Blue, and kind of make lines through it so you can definitely tell it's water. What are you adding to the paint to make it run? Just water. Um, just water. It's probably, um, I'd say like a 10 to 1 or 11 to 1 ratio. Um, I didn't measure it out, but if I had to guess, that, that's what I would <laughs> guess it as being. Um, I just want a little bit of hint of color here. So you're basically making like a wash and then just letting it drip. And I'm going to do the same thing with the blue. And I'm just, I have an old tray here and I just put it in there. If you haven't watched any of my um, videos in the past, I'm here every Friday morning, by the way, at 10 a.m. Eastern. Um, I have old canvases and an old door that any leftover paint I have um, on my tray, I just smear it on, on there. Need a little bit more water for the blue. And this one isn't running as not much because I don't have enough water. You get enough water, all you have to do is dab and it will run. So you'll definitely be able to tell if you have enough water to paint ratio because it won't run as much if you don't um, have enough water. But I'm really liking that. Super cute. Hey Shirley, thanks for waving. Um, where are you watching from? Oh, Mississippi. Oh, a flag waving in the background. Oh, yeah. You could definitely do that. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it on this one, but yes. You could actually maybe put a flagpole up here, have one waving, or even here coming up with one waving. That would be cute. Cute, cute, cute. Um, looking for my Bohemian Blue. Here it is. All right, we're gonna um, work on these here in the water. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit more white though before we do that. And just kind of really put those in there and then I'm going to take my fan brush this is the smaller um, turquoise iris, turquoise iris fan brush it's a mascot she does have a larger one I believe it's the cheerleader um, this is the smaller one I'm going to wet it down really good and then I'm just going to take my cap of bohemian blue and just kind of pounce the paint into the top and then we're just going to go across. Like it would be water, water moving. And I know it looks a lot darker than the background, but that's because it's not dried yet. 
we want to create some movement. in these. Super, super cool. All right. I think that's fabulous um, I may work on this a little bit more my red definitely dripped down um, into my flowers and that's okay I can just go back with some more sandy blonde and some more of the greens and fill that in cover that up um, See what time is it? I can go ahead and do that real quick and sh just show you guys. So, if you ever have a mistake like that, a happy little accident, as Bob Ross said, <laughs> you could just come back in because DIY is so full of color and cover it right back up to be like it never happened. Okay, I'm gonna grab some Sandy Blonde now. And I'm just pouncing it in. Just like that. And it's all covered up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, guys. Um, I don't want to go over on the next time slot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and call it done for here. Um, I'll post pictures on my personal page this afternoon. Um, Passionate Pigment. So if you want to follow me over there, that would be awesome. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe and get out and move your body. Have a great weekend. Bye.